South America is home to some of the world's rarest animals, with endemic flora and fauna spanning the length and breadth of the continent. It's a little-known fact that one-third of the Earth's bird population can be found here, with 1,500 different species located in the Amazon basin alone, along with mighty mammals and ancient reptiles. In our video, we explore some of the more unusual wildlife that you may cross paths with during your visit to South America. Watch the video to the end, subscribe to the channel and expand your horizons. So let's begin. Flamingos. Found in some of the most unexpected places, the pretty flamingo congregates in large flocks at their chosen location. Known for their long elegant necks and vibrant pink feathers, these birds are unmistakable and a thrill to observe when you are lucky enough to come across them. The birds are migratory however, capable of traveling up to 700 mesa in a single day, so you never quite know where you may spot them. You'll find these birds throughout the Andes Mountains ranging from Peru to Argentina and Chile. Visiting Bolivia is perhaps your best bet to see Andean flamingos in the wild. Laguna Colorada in the southwest is a particularly good spot to see them. Resplendent Quetzal this bird is so gorgeous, its existence almost beggars belief. Bright green feathers, a red breast, white tail, and a long green peacock-like plume. The resplendent Quetzal is almost mythical in appeal, but they are real, and if you're lucky you can spot them when exploring the cloud forests of Central America. Go early in the morning and scope out a wild avocado tree, the source of Quetzal's favorite food. The resplendent Quetzal is the national bird of Guatemala, so Guatemala is an ideal spot to search for them in the wild, although you'll find them from Mexico to Panama. Scarlet Ibis The Scarlet Ibis, sometimes called Red Ibis, is a species of Ibis in the bird family Threskiornithidae. It inhabits tropical South America and part of the Caribbean. In form, it resembles most of the other 27 extant species of ibis, but its remarkably brilliant scarlet coloration makes it unmistakable. Blue-footed boobies. These charming birds are easily recognized by their sky-blue feet, which they lift up and down in a one-of-a-kind mating dance. About half of the world's population breeds in the Galapagos Islands, but you can find blue-footed boobies along the Pacific coast from the Gulf of California all the way to Perry. Capybara. Capybaras are the largest living rodent in the world, and they can reach an adult weight of 150 pounds. These gentle vegetarians resemble giant guinea pigs, except they are semi-aquatic and have webbed feet. The world's largest rodent has become a fan favorite on the internet over the past decade. Its remarkably unflappable demeanor and adorably big nose have won fans worldwide. Just watch some videos to see how it ignores other animals that climb on it, and even try to eat it. These rodents spend a lot of their time in the water, so you'll find them in wetlands and rainforests across the continent, except in Chile. Capybaras are common in most parts of South America but head to Brazil for your best chance to see them. In particular, head to the wetlands of the Pantanal. Giant Tortoise. The opportunity to see these animals is one of the highlights of an Ecuador plus Galapagos bike tour. The Galapagos Islands are named after the magnificent tortoises that have been native to there for the past two to three million years. Galapagos tortoises, which can reach weights of 550 pounds, were hunted almost to the point of extinction before they began being protected in 1959. Their lifespan of up to 150 years sets them among the world's longest living vertebrates. Pink River Dolphin Dolphins are loved the world over. But did you know that in the Amazon River, you'll find pink ones? Growing up to three meters in length, these huge marine mammals, referred to as bufeos or botos by the locals, are just as playful as their seafaring cousins, often seen following boats full of tourists and leaping in the air as they go, showing off their athletic prowess. What's more, Pink River dolphins play an interesting role in local myths and legends. For example, 
Many believe that killing one will bring bad luck to the person responsible, while others feel that looking one in the eye will bring a lifetime of nightmares. The jury is still out as to why the dolphins are pink, but one thing is for certain. These unusual animals are a must-see on any Amazonian tour. Tamarin. These tiny mammals are some of the cutest New World monkeys. They're no larger than a squirrel and have fur coats that are mixes of black, brown and white. They have the playful personalities that you'd expect of monkeys, but are also very adept at running and jumping, which is useful to stay high in the canopy and away from predators. Most species of tamarins are endangered, especially the cotton-top tamarin, which is named for the white tuft of hair on its head. The cotton-top tamarin is only found in northwestern Colombia, so that's the best place to search for them in the wild. Bald Wakari These monkeys are incredibly active and super smart. They live in large groups of up to 100 individuals. Their mysterious glowing red faces are considered a sign of health. The paler, the less healthy. All day long these monkeys jump around the treetops feasting on seeds, fruits and even caterpillars. Two and three-toed sloths. Yes, there are two kinds of sloths. The famous three-toed sloth has its gray fur and iconic black band across its eyes that looks like a bandit mask. The two-toed sloth is smaller and browner. It also looks a bit like a pig, with a snub-nosed snout. Both of these species abound in Central America. They feast on cecropia leaves, which have a narcotic effect on the sloths, leaving them extra sleepy and slow, as if they weren't slow enough already. No matter where you go in Central America, you won't have a hard time spotting sloths in the wild. Panama is a good place to search. Panama City has some parks within its borders, where you have a good chance to spot one, although the many national parks further afield also abound. If you want to guarantee a sighting, consider stopping at the Sloth Sanctuary in Gamboa. Here is our top 10 unusual animals of South America. It is quite obvious that there are many more unusual animals on this continent, and we will have to dedicate more than one video to them. Thank you for watching us. Subscribe to the channel and expand your horizons with us.